All right, the booth you all requested for me to do a walkthrough the most was NECA. We'll start with the Toon Turtle line. I've not been all in on the Toon Turtles, but it'd be hard to argue that this isn't the most fleshed out ultimate toy line for turtle collectors. So many characters, so much variety. Oh man. You're getting so much with these. So if you're a fan of this, you're in hog heaven because they've given us so many characters. And now, hopefully, we can have this soon, but the sewer headquarters diorama. This is pretty darn cool. I wish we had a turtle van to see here, but they are kind of redoing it based on feedback. But, oh man. We got a kitchen, we got a living room. So there's like three different options to put together. That's so freaking cool. And you could put together one heck of a diorama. We got Donnie's lab. Oh, I love all of this so much. It's like when you see something this awesome, even though I'm not 100% all in on the tune line, it makes you it makes you second guess yourself. Like, man, did I did I back the wrong horse? <laughs> but for me personally, I still prefer the Super Seven line because I prefer the vintage toy looks. But God, this is such a fantastic collection when it's all said and done. It is a great collection of figures. I love how they've hidden stuff in the back. Got the crane. So freaking cool. So freaking cool. But well done, NECA. You have created a fantastic collection of turtles. NECA is doing so much with the Turtles license. And we've got the last Ronin figures. I can't help but think of the Memba Berries with the Ronin head sculpt, but other than that, I think it looks awesome. But just, they look fantastic, wow. And then again, these, these Universal Monsters Turtles, I've seen the wrap in person. It's just, again, I, I haven't, you know, gone up to buy one yet, but every time I see them, I'm tempted because they look so freaking good. Then we got some Archie's comics. Manta Ray is my favorite. But I love the packaging as well that they're doing for the, the Archie comics looks. Then we've got some image comics looks here. I really like these. And then we've got some Mirage comics. They're doing so many of these. They've got to bring back their original turtle sets. But I'm really pumped for this Casey Jones. I definitely want that. I think I already have pre-ordered. And we got some of the cases of stuff that's already been released down here. Now, E.T. is one of my all-time favorite movies. And these 40th anniversary figures look fantastic. Like, I have wanted good E.T. toys since forever. And just look at these accessories, look at the detail. And it looks like NECA is doing what they do, which is fantastic six inch scale recreations of things we have seen on screens. And I love all of these. I want all of these. E.T. looks amazing. But this was a surprise and I'm so here for it. Dinosaur figures coming next year in accurate scale. I still have my Hasbro figures, which are not in, in scale. Like, 
the, the baby is just as big as Earl. Oh, I'm so pumped for these. I wonder if this is like a two pack or something. I want them all. Dinosaurs were my favorites growing up. Super excited for that. We also got Alf. We've seen this one for a while, but it's awesome to see it in person. All of the amazing accessories. I know John's pumped for this one. Then we've got the Gremlins. Line still going strong. I love the WB on the chest. That's awesome. Gremlins 2, one of the underappreciated sequels of the 80s and in that 89 season. Love this accessory pack as well. But I love all of these so much. Some more Gremlins, Last of Us Part 2. Some sweet Predators. Oh, look at the little ET thing. Oh, that's neat. Robocop looks cool, but so many gargoyles reveals. Love the Steel Clan. Also love the ultimate Xanatos 7 inch scale. So I guess it's going to be two things. We're going to have the armored Xanatos in his red armor, and then I guess regular Xanatos. Maybe they'll have wing pack ins or something with him. Yeah. I think this shows the problem of the open wings sitting on a shelf. It gets a little bit tough. But it looks like we're getting more draped wings, which is awesome. But the Hudson figure looks great. Really love Lexington. Love that. Love Broadway as well. Brooklyn looks great. Even if his wings are gigantic, still looks, it looks awesome though. But yes. So much great gargoyle. Awesome. Just love that we're getting the Drake wings for Demona. Oh, we ordered these like a year ago. These NECA Dungeons and Dragons figures. And I'm, I'm here to tell you, they look just as good in person as they did in those first renders and images. Oh my gosh. I am here for these ultimate Dungeons and Dragons figures. Because they sure look awesome. SCC exclusive The Lost Wave for the vintage line. I love the LJN, and I love that they repackaged them and brought them back. That's so cool. More Defenders of the Earth. Some Q3 releases. Then we've got Universal Monsters. I haven't been collecting this line, but I know some that really love it. Love this Frankenstein set, though. That's pretty cool. Then we've got the mummy and the mummy accessory set. That's pretty darn cool. Then we got some more Q4 releases. Invisible Man, Creature of the Black Lagoon. Looks amazing. Creep Show, Q4. This stuff always freaks me out, so I'm not gonna stay here too long. <laughs> but the thing, the dog thing, Q1 2023. And then we've got the monsters, or monsters, sorry, the Rob Zombie monsters. Don't know how good the show will be, but the figures look pretty good. We got some large scale Chucky and Tiffany. I know John is happy for these Hooper figures. Also love that they're getting some rock and roll legends as well. Would love to see some of my favorites like Led Zeppelin, The Beatles, The Boys. This Elton John set looks incredible. I mean, look how shiny that piano is. <laughs> that is freaking amazing. The extra heads. Everything looks great. That's awesome. Ooh, pardon me. We also got more Toonie Terrors. I think, oh, Teen Wolf I love. Love the Hocus Pocus as well. I know there'll be a lot of fans of that. 
secret headquarters. <laughs> Bob Ross, Wild Stallings, Ace Ventura. What booth or thing at Comic-Con do you want me to look at next? Let me know down in the comments section below. I want to thank the patrons who make this show possible. You can find a full list of them right here or here. If you like to help this channel grow, become a patron at patreon.com slash geekdadlife. Definitely check out my Comic-Con playlist. You can find that right here or right here or this video that YouTube wants you to check out. And until next time, hasta luego and goodbye.